Disturbing flyers. I think it's awful. Messages of hate litter a South Florida neighborhood. I'm against everything that it says. Featuring swastikas and Nazi troops promoting white supremacy. Now the CBS 4 News exclusive report. CBS 4 News visited the same streets in Palmetto Bay two years ago where the same white supremacy group spread its message. Nothing came of it then. But as CBS 4's Gary Nelson reports, this time things could be different. Mango Wood, a quiet neighborhood in Palmetto Bay, disturbed by these disturbing flyers, leaflets bearing a swastika and images of Nazi troops distributed by an outfit calling itself the National Socialist Freedom Movement. Its website declares, we are the American Nazi Party. These flyers that turned up on driveways and plastered under windshield wipers have left folks in Palmetto Bay repulsed. I think it's awful. I think it's awful, and if I see anybody doing that, I will be most certainly to call the police. It's awful. Through a number on the leaflet, I reached a so-called commander of the purported Nazi party. Well, we're just basically trying to wake people up for the problems that are happening in the country. The group spews a message that Jews and minorities will ruin America. They're a small white supremacist group. Those who fight against hate say those behind these flyers are a fairly inactive bunch, but that bigotry must be battled on every front. We need to speak out when there's a message of hate, whether it be an education program in a school, writing a letter, or responding to a flyer that's left in somebody's driveway. Two years ago, these same flyers were distributed by the same neo-Nazi group in this very same neighborhood. One was left on Russell Langley's stoop. He was among many who called police. They came out, they did some investigation, and that's the last we heard of it. Two years ago, police said because the flyers contained no threats and were left on driveways, the most the distributors were guilty of was littering. But this oh time, God. things are different. This time, some leaflets were put in mailboxes, and it's against the law for anything but mail to go in a mailbox. This time, instead of Miami-Dade police, the United States Postal Service is leading the investigation into illegally delivered messages of hate. So know this. If you've been dumping images of swastikas and SS troopers in mailboxes across South Florida, the feds are looking for you. In Palmetto Bay, Gary Nelson, CBS 4 News.